Hi girls! Today's video is going to be a tutorial on Mali's palette and this is called the Perfect Palette Total Face Kit. First of all, it comes in this pretty like makeup bag and it has like this pink and olive sequins and it looks amazing. I really love it. That's actually what caught my eyes when I first saw it. And it comes with three brushes and they're baby pink and the interior is pink. Also, the palette is very, very nice and you can create a lot of different looks with this palette. So when you open it, it looks like this. You get six eyeshadows, two blushes and two lip glosses. And what's cool about it that they have like a, a plastic thing uh, covering the glosses so they don't get mess, messy with the eyeshadows. And I think this is a brilliant idea. The colors, I don't know if you can see them, they're very pretty. You have a very pigmented black, very nice burgundy, nice bronze, uh, grayish, shimmery grayish, two highlight colors, one matte and one shimmery, and two blushes, a baby pink and a coral blush, and two lipsticks. I'm not really impressed with the lipsticks, they're very sheer, but they're okay. And also, it shows you like the names and everything on the back. So yeah, I created this makeup look. Nothing really special. The makeup is simple, like bronzy colors, but the main idea is the a purple eyeliner and the purple mascara. And I really enjoyed doing this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy it. So if you wanna see how I created this simple look, just keep on watching. Okay, first I'm gonna take my NYX eyeshadow base in the color number three and it's color like skin tone color and I'm gonna take my concealer brush from Sephora and apply this as a base as a primer all over my eye taking it to the brow bone so I'm gonna take my palette and this is from Mali so it looks like this I'm gonna start with this skin tone color and I'm taking a Rock and Republic uh, flat brush and this is number 202 Next I'm going to take this flat brush and this is from Smashbox, it came with an eyeshadow palette and I'm going to take this shimmery beige color and apply it on the first half of my eyes taking it to the tear dot. Next I'm going to flip the brush and I'm going to take this bronzy brown color and it's very pigmented. Now I'm going to take this e.l.f. Uh, blending eye brush, it looks like this, it's very very good, I love this brush, and I'm going to take the purpley burgundy and color. I'm going to start applying this on the crease slightly, then taking it down, like a v-shape. Now I'm going to take my Rock and Republic 203 blending brush and I'm going to start blending this part very lightly. I'm going to take my Smashbox brush again and I'm going to apply the lighter shimmery color. Flip it again and take the brownie bronzy color. Now I'm going to take this tiny brush from Rock and Republic and I'm going to take the shimmery beige color and I'm going to apply this. Now I'm going to take any flat brush and I'm going to apply the same uh, color under my brow bone. The main idea of this look is the purple eyeliner and the purple mascara. So now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever and this is an aqua cream line and it's in number 5. I don't know if you can see it but it's purple, I promise. And I'm going to take this angled brush from Sigma and this is the E65 and I'm going to start drawing just a normal curved line, no wings, nothing special. Mm -hmm. 
So I also took it down and I stopped right here on the half. Also I'm gonna apply this to my waterline. And last I'm gonna take my Aqua Eye Waterproof Eye Pencil and this is number 11 L and this is from Makeup Forever. It's a purple eye pencil and I'm gonna apply this on my waterline. Next I'm gonna curl my lashes. Okay, last, this is optional, I'm gonna apply a purple mascara. This is from Yves Saint Laurent and this is number four. It's optional, you can apply black mascara if you want, but I really like purple mascara. Okay, so this should be your final look. So next I'm going to take this cream color brace from MAC and it's a very pretty hot pink color and I'm going to take this angled brush and it's number 101 angled contour brush from Borghese. Now I'm going to take my Soleil Tan de Chanel and I'm going to take this Borghese brush and this is number 104 round foundation brush. I'm going to apply a little bit under the blush as a contour just a little bit to define my cheeks and it's a very nice cream contour last I'm gonna apply this blush and this was from the quite cute collection I guess and this is called Sakura it's a very pretty purpley with a hot pink um, heart I'm gonna mix all the colors and apply this on top of my um, cream Blush. So for the lipstick I'm gonna apply from MAC and it's an amplified color, it's called Satin Germain and it's a very nice pretty Barbie pink color. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. Then blend it with my fingers. Then on top of it, I'm also going to use this lip gloss from MAC and that was from the Quite Cute Collection and it's called I Love You and it's a lavender pretty color. And I forgot to use in highlight, I'm going to use this from MAC and this is a cream color base also and it's called Hush. Very nice corally light pink color. I'm gonna apply this lightly under my eye just to give a nice glow. So that should be your final look. I think it's pretty easy and it's very wearable. Nothing really special. I love uh, the purple eyeliner and the purple mascara. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any question, leave it down on the comments. And I'm going to see you in my next video. Don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Ciao!